Hi there, I'm Gord and I want to show you a simple way to do stave construction. As a wood turner, I sometimes want a cylinder three or four, maybe even six inches in diameter. If I could find a solid piece of wood that big, in oak for instance, I probably couldn't afford it or would really dread paying for it. But doing it with staves is very simple. I don't want it solid in the center generally anyway, and I'll show you how to do this today. The first thing you will need, if you don't already have one, is a sled for your table saw. The support board closest to you should be as close as possible to perfectly square to the blade. I'm using a scrap piece of half inch MDF as the guide board. I put an X on the edge that is against the support board so I will always remember to use that same edge. Now I will hold it against the support board and trim the edge so that it is running parallel to the blade. I want the cylinder I'm making to be three inches in diameter and need the guide board to be just a hair over three quarters of an inch from the blade. I measure from the edge of the blade slot to the edge of the guide board and then nail the guide board in place. I will be using 12 segments so I need the blade to be at 15 degrees. I use a tilt box to set the angle. As you can see the angle is set to exactly 15 degrees. Being out by even a fraction of a degree can be too much and the greater the number of segments used, the more important this becomes as the error is cumulative. With the sled removed, I rip one edge of each board. With the sled replaced, I can clamp the board down with the beveled edge against the guide board and push it through the blade. As you can see, the board is placed with the bevel facing up. As each stave is cut, I flip the board end for end and place it against the guide board for the next cut. I lay a strip of wide masking tape down and then set a stave across it trying to keep it as close to 90 degrees as I can. Then I set the next one in place by sliding the edge down the side of the previous stave and keeping the edges as tightly together as I can. I just repeat this until all 12 staves are in place. Rolling the staves up into a cylinder, I pull the masking tape around and then check the joints to be sure they are all tight. Cutting the masking tape along one of the joints frees the staves to be laid down on my work surface so I can put glue in the joints. I make sure I have plenty of glue, as I would rather have a lot of glue squeezed out than have a glue-starved joint which could come apart on the lathe or just look bad.
I prefer hose clamps for clamping staves or other segmented rings. They are quick and easy to use and can be tightened and removed very easily using a drill. After letting the glue set thoroughly, I can remove the clamps and inspect the joints. Okay, it's finished now. Joints are nice and tight, which was my first concern. And now it's just a matter of putting it on the lathe and seeing what I can make with it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Do some turning. Bye now.